Well, we're at the NSC on a Wednesday evening. It's actually not bad. And uh, something that hasn't been seen down here, apparently, for some years in, in earnest, is pole vaulting. I didn't know that, Trevor. And this is your ambition now to bring it back as a sport? Absolutely. Pole vaulting, it's not taken place now for, for, for well over five to ten years. Why is that? Uh, basically because we've never had any, any equipment. So we've had lots of enthusiastic athletes and, you know, I want to try and, uh, and fix the problem of not having uh, the equipment to do it with. We've got a brilliant facility here at the NSC. Yeah. We've got a, a pole vault bed over the far side of the track and it's just not getting used. So I wanted to try and, uh, you know, use that legacy of the, the Commonwealth Youth Games. So what, you put the word out and you've got a few people here tonight that might be more out there who might be interested? Absolutely, you know, there's, there's, there's people here from gymnastics as well, as the local athletics clubs, uh, put a call out on Facebook and the newspapers. We even had a, a guy from the UK come over a, a month ago and do a workshop to, to try and help uh, develop our coaches as well so that we've got people over here who can deliver sessions week in, week out. So what makes a good pole vaulter? Well, all shapes and sizes really, there's, there's, there's no particular type, so anyone can come along and have a go. Uh, so no matter whether you're, you're young or old, tall or small, you know, it's open to everyone. Now the minute, well, for people who know in the know, I wouldn't, but these are only practice pole vaults. Pole vaults so that you're waiting to get the real McCoy, are you? Absolutely, yes. These, uh, th these poles are aluminium and uh, they're only good for training in a sandpit. They, they, they don't flex, so they're not good for training on the actual uh, bed over the far side. So really we need to get some fiberglass poles and uh, very expensive pieces of equipment as well. I bet a really good one that is very flexible. How much would you pay? Well, you could pay anywhere between sort of three to five, six hundred pounds for a pole, wow. and you know the professionals are probably paying the thousands for for, for a pole as well. So, you know, it's, it's that's another barrier to to why we've not really had it in the past. And things are harder these days. Are you looking for a sponsor or what? Well, well, yes, we were very lucky from the last workshop. Uh, Alan Kroll has, has donated five hundred pounds to our cause. Uh, we're looking to to try and get around about three to three to three and a half thousand pounds altogether. Mm -hmm. So we. You know, we really need more people to try and help us out. We're going to get these guys to do some fundraising as well. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll hit that target. And we're always thinking about Commonwealth Games and Ireland Games, that sort of thing. That you never know, could come through sometime? Well, already we've got Olivia Curran, who's uh, qualified for, for the pole vault. She, she managed to do it at university in Loughborough. Mm. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Olivia will get picked. And hopefully she'll inspire a lot of these guys here today to, to, to follow suit. And, and by the way, can you do it yourself? <laughs> I have, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I used to do it with Minister Dave Anderson from oh. Manx Harriers about 15 years ago. So that was uh, another reason why I really wanted to get behind this project and hopefully you might even see me doing a bit of vaulting next season. Anyone watching this who would like to get in touch and get interested in this? Yes, if, if anyone would like to get involved, just contact me at the Sport Development Unit. You can contact me on trevor.christian at gov.im or phone the NSC and ask for me on 688 592. Thank you.